welcome to my channel, Coffee, Wine, and Stitching Time. I'm Janelle, and today is May, Wednesday, May 18th. Happy birthday, Zan. Um, I hope you're having a good day today, and hopefully I'll get this posted out tonight, so maybe you'll even see your happy birthday live on your birthday. Maybe, if not, next week, or next month, or whatever, but there you are. So, how are you guys all doing? I have had such a good week. I have been productive. I have gotten so many things done. I'm just amazed with some of the things I've gotten done. Um, I tried some new things. Uh, there's been some things I said I was going to do forever, and I finally did them. Um, so, so much fun stuff. I finally got to the post office and mailed out all kinds of things <laughs> this last week. So, um... And maybe even the weekend before too. I don't know. There's so much stuff happening that I'm just having a good time and excited and I'm ready to show you guys all the really cool fun things that I've got going on. So all right let's just dig in shall we? First of all um I no I'm not sure if I've ever shown an FFO. FFO means fully finished object. Now, I know I've had some, like, you know, a few FFOs because I've done some swap, some smalls exchanges before, but I don't know if I've ever shown one live on my video. It might have just been an afterthought kind of thing because I wanted the people to see it first and all that. I already have this all packaged up ready to go in the mail, just, um, but oh my goodness, you guys, I have two, two two FFOs. Can you feel the excitement? I can. Jinx doesn't even care. She's just like, you are way too excited for me today. And mm -mm, I'm just going to lay here and sleep. So she might come over and visit because I'm going to be here for a little bit. Now, if you need to go get a beverage, I do have a half a cup of coffee left here, but I might need more. I don't know. We're going to see. But I do have a bottle of tea up there also. So if I need more, hydration is necessary and it's close by. So with that, let's get showing stuff. All right. So like I said, I wrapped all this stuff up ready to go. And I don't know why I did that because I knew I was going to show it to you guys. But so I have a Gilmore Girls retreat for the Black Needle Society coming up soon. And there's a needle exchange and a smalls exchange. So you know what? I should have... I know I finished the the object, the item before. I'm going to go ahead and put in the designer name down at the bottom here of where I got this off Etsy. Um, so this is, and I did alter it. So I do know, I do remember that I showed you the finish before, but I'll go ahead and I'll show you the, I'll give the name of the designer down below here so you can see. Um, so if you're interested in this, um, and you know what, I'll put the picture of the full pattern right up here too. So, all right. So here's my fully finished object. My first, this is the first sewing, sewing small cross stitch item that I've accomplished. I'm so excited. Are you ready? So again, this is a smalls exchange for Gilmore Girls Retreat. Now, anybody could get it. I don't know who this is for, so that's why I'm willing to show it. Because who knows who's going to get it. But I will let you know that I will be stitching one for myself. So have no fear. It's that great. Okay, are you ready? Check that out. I turned it into a pillow. It's a stay at the Dry Dragonfly Inn, Stars Hollow, Connecticut. I did change the colors on it, as you can tell, because I showed you the picture of it before. There were some flowers up here also and some flowers down here, but there was a small size limit within some, you know, parameters for the, um, for the package it's going to go in. So I cut that out. So I made it into a small pillow. Isn't that just amazing? I think I did so good. I did this on Storm Cloud. I think it was called Storm Cl Stormy Cloud. And it's a, 
I'm going to say it's an 18 count Ada. Yeah, I'm going to say it's an 18 count Ada. No, I'm going to take that back. It was a 25 count Lugana because I stitched it two over two. Look at me getting all smart and trying to figure out th what things are. And I can tell that by looking at it. I'm growing up in the stitching world. I'm becoming a, well, I'm not quite a, I'm not a professional cross stitcher yet. That's for sure. I am still very, very new. <laughs> but yes, and then I sewed it and I have this backing on it. I have Gilmore Girl fabric. So you guys, isn't this amazing? Now, I will tell you that I did mess up one thing. I was going to have a little hanger up here, so but it'll just be a pillow that sits. But when I sewed everything together, I realized I sewed the the um, the um ribbon the wrong way, and it wasn't going to happen the right way, so we just, we just nixed the ribbon. But now it's a cute little pillow, and oh my gosh, it's so good. I even did an invisible seam stitch at the bottom. So if you get this, don't look too close, because that's not as perfect as the rest of it. But I think I did pretty good, and it's going to be sitting on it anyway, so nobody's really going to look. So super excited. So I just need to get that off because it needs to be done by, I believe, June 1st. Um, and I think I saw an email come across today, so I think we might have the address of where to send it to. The other thing that I did is I'm part of a needle minder exchange. So um, I was I was going to try, I remember those beads I bought? Um, and I showed them like a last video or the one before, um, there were like these little tiny dainty cubic zirconia kind of, or Swarovski crystal flowers. And then I had like a dragonfly and then I also had umbrellas and all that. So I did attach those. I put those things with the jump rings and I was putting the magnet on, but my magnet kept trying to stick to the jump ring. So it wasn't dangling like I wanted it to dangle. So back to the drawing board. I went through my, my, I have these boxes right there that have all kinds of buttons and stickers and things like that. And magnets that I'm like, I've heard other people making needle minders. So I'm like, well, I'll make my own. So I have my own little supply of let's make needle minders boxes. So I found something else summary related. I found a flip flop. Um, so here's my flip flop and I put a little rhinestone on the toe and so I've got the magnet on there. So this is all ready to go for my need for the needle exchange. And I even have it all wrapped up good in bubble wrap and everything like that. So I'm super, super excited. So yeah, so I have two FFOs. Two. Yes. All right. Okay. Carrying on. Let's keep going. Now I do. I kind of have a little bit of an order here, but not a really great order. I have like whips and progress. I have a new box, but I'm going to do a separate unboxing for that. Um, so that it's not a big spoiler alert kind of thing for people who haven't got it. It's the unicorns and dragons and mermaids or mermaids and unicorns and dragons. Oh my, or something like that. I don't know. It just came in the mail today. So that I'll do as a separate video, but um, so, and I have haul and different things, and I'm going to have some inserts in here of my May vent box, the box that Athena and I have been doing. Um, here's mine. So I've got every, those are all the items I have left to open. Um, yes, yes, yes. All this super fun stuff. Okay. So let's continue on with whips and things that progress of what I've made. So... Um, you all know that I've been working on Harry Pot, my Harry Potter thing. So I'm part of a Harry Potter stitch along group with Athena. And, um, every seventh of the month we get together and the only requirement really is stitch Harry Potter. So, um, I've been working on this and I got to a finishing point. So I decided I'm going to put this away until... The 7th of June until we meet again. Now, I did meet twice this month because Harry Potter, International Harry Potter Day was May 2nd and then also May 7th. So, here it is. This is my made-up version. Well, it's kind of made up and tweaked and all that kind of stuff. So, let me show you these first. So, there's um, 
I took two patterns and I combined them together because I wanted the, f so waiting for my letter from Hogwarts and this is from Print and Decor and it's an Etsy shop of where I got it. And then there's also this owl. So that's all I have for the owl. I don't have, let's see here. Okay, so here's some information on the owl. That's print and decor. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have any other information on the owl, but that's all I have. And I know I got it off Etsy, but I just don't remember where. Um, and I feel like this is, I don't even have a cover sheet of it. What? <sighs> yeah, this is, this is it here. I mean, this is what I have of it. So it's the colors and it's the stitch count. That all was um, on 14 count. It was supposed to be 14 inches high by 19 inches. 14 inches wide by 19 inches high on 14 count. I'm doing it, I don't know what I'm doing it on, but anyway, it didn't get that big. And so I'm happy. Um, but yeah, so I took those two together. So here we are. Here is, I got all of the black done, the waiting for my letter from Hogwarts and the outline all of the black items for the owl. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill in the owl with the different colors I have. And I just pulled a bunch of um, colorful DMC that I think will go well with it. There's some orange and some gray and some light purple and pink and all that in there. Um, so I can, I didn't pull exactly like the color list, but things that were similar. And then I'm going to have magic sprinkles kind of coming around, you know, all around with little confetti pieces for some magic sprinkling all around of those same colors, but it's looking so good. So made a major accomplishment with that this week, this, um, last week. So, so happy. So, so happy. You guys look, I even... I even have everything updated in my planner before I started my video. I don't have to take a break and go update my planner. I even wrote all of the things in that I did and even a couple things that I'm going to do. And I even filled in my progress on what I worked on when. And so this is my knitting and this is my stitching. So I did stitch almost every day except for one day. And my knitting was only two or three days. But um, that's okay. Can't do everything, right? Right. And I think I showed you the guys this last time, but I was updating. I revamped my Whipco board a little bit. There haven't been any changes on it since in this last week, and um, but I have started working on one of my Whipco calls, so I still have my Whipco board intact, how it was last time as well. So there's that. So let me get back to there. So if I have, so I worked on my owl last Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, I finished that, that part up last Wednesday. So I did get that all done. So yeah, I worked on it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So super exciting. All right, next up on my list. So this is going to go back and go to sleep now until... June. So something I can take out of my pile because my pile of things that I still want to work on in May is still quite large. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I still have ten things pulled out that I want to work on in June. One, or I'm sorry, in May. One of them I think I'm going to switch over and go back, move it to May, or I'm sorry, move it, move it to June. Um, so I have, what, one, two, I, what was the number I just said? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten things to work on in May, but I think one or two of those things I'm going to move over to June. Actually, there's 11. I just thought about it. Um, 
and there will be 12 total if I move it to June. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's just keep adding them on. Anyway, my Harry Potter owl waiting for my letter from Hogwarts is in my bag, then my owl bag. Oh, look at those eyes. Oh, oh my goodness, aren't they awesome? Um, And this is from Pinky. Pinky, Pinky. Pinky, Pinky, Pinky. Um, what is Pinky? Um, let's see here. It's in, on the inside. Here we go. Pinky promises. Bags are amazing. I love this bag. So, and she's got so many other patterns. This is all embroidered. Isn't it just beautiful? So, can you tell I'm starting to do a better job of describing the things I have? And this is mystery fabric. So I have this hand dyed fabric that this is going on and it's back from a long time ago. And I do have a ruler, but I th I'm pretty sure this is like a 14 or 16 count Ada. So, um, but I don't know the, like the brand or the color of it. So, okay, next up, next up. What else did I work on? I started a project on, when did I start it? I started it Monday night. Um, remember today is Wednesday. I started it Monday night and I started this for um, Candy. She's doing the um, mental health care, hashtag mental health care sale for the month of May in honor and um for recognition and, you know, knowledge of men mental health care month. So, so I started, I decided to do positivity rules from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, I don't have a good cover sheet, so I'm just going to hold it back here. This one, this guy. Okay. So that's the one I'm working on. And of course, I'm going to do it in Janelle fashion. Janelle fashion means, yeah, there's a pattern that's a guide. So, um, and on this pattern, you have daytime and you have nighttime and it shifts colors um, throughout the daytime and nighttime. So it like blends and fades and everything like that and changes colors. So there's some areas where I am going to change colors I didn't pull the call for flosses. I just went to my Bisley, pulled out a drawer and said, that looks like it's close. Let's try, let's use that one. So my first color that I pulled was 3801. Oops, let's 3801. That was the first one I called and I thought that'll look good for the roof line. So I decided to start that up on the roof line. Oh, what is we got to get rid of that. That's distracting, isn't it? Where did that come from? What did I do? I don't know what I did. It was tired. I, I worked on this for two days. I worked on it Monday and Tuesday so far, right? Yep. I worked on it Monday and Tuesday and I was starting to get tired last night. So I decided to put it down. Um, so I'm doing the roof line. So as a little reminder, there's that. So I'm working on the roof line there. And, um, oh, also on this roof line. So we have, this is going to be the daytime side. I'm starting to do the cloud and then this will be the nighttime side over here. Um, instead of the rainbow, I'm going to do a cloud and I'm going to do a sunshine and another cloud. So Janelle fashion, change it up. And in one of my, in my unboxing today of my May event, um, you'll see this in a little bit too, but I got the perfect, perfect floss. And you know what? I think some of these flosses might actually be pretty good for, this is what some very colorful flosses I got, but I unboxed the yellow today. So I think that that is going to be the best sunshine ever. So I'm super excited about that. And I think this might be, I don't know about the green, but I know these three for sure, the purple, the blue, and the, this will be good in there. 
So, and then where, since I'm doing this, I'm doing this on, um, it's a vintage needle arts, 14 count night shadow opalescent. So that's what I'm doing. So I don't know if you can see the sparkle at all on there, but it is sparkly and it's gray. So, and I know that a lot of people did theirs on white. So wherever it looks like there's like a gray kind of a line, I'm going to substitute and do white and I'm using B5200 for that. So that's how it, that's how far I've gotten. And when I come to the next part, I'll just grab another color and out of my Bisley up there and just pull it out and work on it. So that's how I'm going to do this one. And I kind of like it because this is my mental health care cell. And sometimes you can't put too much thought into things. Sometimes you have, you can be unstructured and just do what feels good. So that's what I'm doing with this one. I'm doing what feels good to me and what comes natural. So positivity rules, mental health care style, hashtag mental health care style candy. It's the 614 Stitcher. So thank you, Candy, for helping me get on board. And I even like used my little measuring guide to make sure that I was like on track with starting things and oh, measured, made sure I had enough fabric. <sighs> so excited. I feel like a grown up, a growing up stitcher. Remember, I'm not, I'm not good yet. I'm still a baby stitcher, but I'm, I'm growing up and I'm learning things. So, so good. So good. So good. Okay. As I drop all of my other pattern pieces there. All right. So we'll get this out of the way. Um, put this back in here. I'm trying to stay somewhat organized as well. Um, so we'll put that right there. Okay. The next thing that I've been working on and I've been working on this, this is one of my whip go calls. This one is called, this is Halloween by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And when I first started it, I had Jack, I had the stem lantern and the black part of the boots. That's all I had. And I've been working on this one pretty good. Um, I picked this one up starting Friday the 13th. So I worked on it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday last night. So this is kind of like something that's easy to pick up and just do a few stitches here and there when I can. So look at how far I've gotten. Oops, I have glass falling out of the bottom there, but that's okay. Um, first of all, we'll get the needle kind of out of the way so... It's not so in the way for you to see things. All right, here we are. So all I had done was the jack, the lantern. Um, I think I had these three stars done, I'm not sure. And then the black part of the boots. I did have ghosts done, but I realized when what I had done is I stitched it in the wrong color. I stitched it in black, but it was supposed to be done in purple. So I did rip that out. So what I've done so far is I filled in the rest of this, all these other stars, um, all of this. I redid the ghost. I did all this. There's a white ghost in there. Can you guys see that? Let's see if I can hold this up. There, he shows up better now. So I did the white ghost, the candy corn, and now I'm starting the, this is going to be B-O-O. -O, so there's a boo. And the, how far I want to get with it this month is... I want to finish up, I'm going to finish up the boo. Um, I wanted to do, let's see, I have that done. I have that done. I just need to do the boo and the Halloween. Yeah. And that's where I want to leave it. So then I've got just about, you know, maybe a little less than half. It looks like these are going to require a bit more stitching. Although these are like smaller things, I don't know. So it's approximately half is where I'm kind of thinking. So that's what I'll do. And then I can focus on this later this year. So, but it's super, super, this is a super fun stitch. I'm loving this one. It's going to be pretty hard for me to put it away, but I've set goals and I've set where I want to do it. So I might actually finish that. Maybe I'll finish that up this weekend. So that's my goal. I want to have the rest of all this stuff done that I want to plan on having done for May, for my whip go, um, have that done before my next lost tube. 
So there we go. Cause today, so I can't work on this anymore today. Well, I might finish. I don't know. Maybe I will. It depends on how long it takes. Cause I will be stitching online with people tonight. And, um, today is Zan's birthday. Zan's B-Day sale. Z-A, not Z. X-A-N-S-B-E-E-D-A-Y-S-A-L. So, Zan's B-Day sale. Right there. What I'm working on for Zan's B-Day sale, and I think a few other people are doing this as well, is Superior Bees Professor Hyberman's Clockwork Pollinations from Summer House Stitchworks. Let me take it out of the package as well so you don't get the glare. And I'm so super excited. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you what I was stitching this on. What do I have? I'm failing again. I'm failing. So it's gray. It's gray fabric. I have to, I'll have to do some research and figure out what fabric this is on. Because I've had this put away since last October. So, okay. Back to, back to current. Okay. All better. Uh, Superior Breeze Professor Hyberman's Clockwork Pollinations by Summer House Stitchworks. And this was in the steampunk box from Black Needle Society. And here is the, what it looks like in the end. And there's only three colors. There's um, black, gold, and white. Yeah, 310 at crew and then a gold. So I've got, oh my gosh, you guys, I went to Stitchville last Saturday. And one of the reasons I went to Stitchville was to match beads for almond M&M's apple amaretto. That's what this is here. So um, this is going to be the gold. I'm replacing this for the gold lacquered. And I am going to use Raven. So here's Raven. And then for the Ecru, I think I'm going to use Ice Queen. Hang on. I have to look at the pattern again real quick. Because it, the ecru goes, yeah, I think I'm going to use the ecru. Yep, instead of the ice queen. So that can go right there for now. Okay, so these are the three colors that I'm going to use. Almond M&M's, ice queen, ice queen, raven, and almond amaretto. And it's on this fabric. And this is PTP. Picture this plus, and this is an 18 count Ada called Fathom. And that green is pretty true to color there. Look at that. That is going to look gorgeous. So let's see if I can adjust the fingers. Okay. So in this pattern, you'll see all, do you see all those little dots on that beehive? Those are all French knots. I don't even know how to do a French knot, let alone 147, I think might be the count of how many French knots there are. Something, something a lot. So instead of doing the French knots, and this was the reason we went, I went to Stitchville, was to pick out beads to replace the French knots. Now, now I know I'm not going to do the beads right away, but I wanted to at least have them so I could figure out which one to do what to do. So I have two different options here. I have um, a glass bead and a frosted glass bead. And here are both of those beads. So I'm not sure when I get this done, I'll fig and I put the beads on, I'll figure out which one I'm going to do. But I think either one of those would look amazing. So that is what this project is going to look like. And the light on the beads is not doing it, is not giving them justice at all. Well, the frosted are looking up good, but these ones, these, uh, it's not too bad. 
there's lots of glare in there so it's kind of hard to see but so this is it's zan's birthday today so zan's b-day sale so we are starting this tonight um so that's why i won't be working on the other things much today because i will be starting this tonight and I, I was gonna look at it and see if there was like a certain section that I wanted to get done. What was my goal for the month of May to get this done? And I feel like, I feel like I'm looking at it. I kind of feel like I want to do the border because yeah, I, I feel like I want to do the border. And I the reason I say that is because, of course, Janelle fashion, I'm going to change it up. <laughs> not just with the beads, but I'm not really, you know, keen on these up here. I like the, this, I like the simplicity of this down here. So I think I'm going to do that all the way around. And then if I need to fill in some more of these little bees and stuff like that, if there's too much room, I can throw in a couple more little bees somewhere. But I think that that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to just, I'm going to do the plain border. And it is two-tone. It does have the, um, the gold and the black in there. So that's what I'm going to do. And who knows, maybe I'll... Huh. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm excited for this. So I might work on the border tonight because I think that that'll be a good easy start to get things get things rolling. All right. What else is in my pile? Um. Let's see. I have my One Nation that I have not started. Um, but I'm not going to pull it out and show you every time because I haven't done anything to it. Um, I have my One Nation that I still want to work on and that I'm actually going to, um, work on Memorial Day weekend. So that's my start. I have my Mill Hills that I have not touched any further. So I think that that is going to, that, that's something I want to touch this week and work on this week. Um, my Jazz Cats. I think I'm gonna let that I'm gonna let that simmer. Yes, this is a whip go item, but I'm gonna let that simmer another week. So that's gonna go in that pile. Um, I have my stitch along, and I don't know if I showed you guys this. I think I did show you this. It was the stitch. Yeah, I know because I know I did because summer because I finished this on the eighth and I did my um, it was this one. Just as a refresher, Lizzie Kate Summer Smalls, and we're doing this one. And I have my part done, but we haven't gotten together with that group yet, so there's nothing to swap yet. So, um, yeah, so we'll just kind of keep that in the bag until we get that swapped. And then I've got um, my Paris, um, and I haven't done anything on my Paris, but I do... The only thing I have so far done is these two trees and the tower, and I'm going to do this whole section in May. So um, that's going to be a focus this week as well. So my focuses this week are going to be Professor Hyverman's B, the B one, um, some Mill Hill, Paris, and Halloween. So I think that's a good, I think those are good options. Yes, I definitely think that those are good options. Um, now this is something that I can't show you this though. This is a secret stitching because I know who it's going to and they know that I'm making it for them. So if they're watching my floss tube, I can't show it. Okay. Well, I have, I'm part of Stacy's, Stacy's little, um, swap group. And so Mom's the word on this one. You can't see it, but I did kit it up and I'm ready to start. So I'm going to get that stitch in. But I think that that's one of them I'm going to wait until start stitch until June. That's going to go in my June pile. So, yep, that's what that's going to happen. Okay, so there's that. That's my progress for those. Now, I have got some 
amazing other progress. And yes, Candy, this is for you. Well, no, it's for me really, but it's in you. You help push me to do it. I've been saying for weeks and weeks and weeks that I, oh, I forgot the other piece. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I had this huge, gigantic piece of eight, 18 count Ada in this plastic bag. Did you notice? There's nothing in this plastic bag, nothing. I had this white Ada in that a whole big, it was 50, 59 by 39 was the size of that piece. This is what's left of the white Ada. This is it, just these little pieces. I have cut down the fabric and I have trimmed it and I dyed it with coffee and tea. Are you guys ready for this? <gasps> this is so super exciting, you guys. And I did more than just dye it. I like, I did it all. So, um, so here I am going to put in, I did like a little kind of snippet of each step of the process. I followed Priscilla and Chelsea's um, instructions to do coffee, tea, stain, dye. And they kept saying that they like theirs darker, their fabric darker and stuff like that. So I was trying to do a little lighter. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> Just wait till I tell you what I dyed it with. Oh gosh, cause you know, I don't have a, I don't have a, I, ha I have a good supply of coffee and tea, but they're all really good coffees and teas. So this is amazing. Okay, so super excited. I'm just as giddy as I was when I did the FFOing part. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here are, here's gonna be my process of me coffee tea stain dyeing this fabric. Ready? Take it away, Janelle. All right, everybody, I'm starting it. The water's starting to boil. The oven's starting to heat. I've got three cups of freshly brewed coffee. I've got some tea bags ready to shove into. Like, you know what? They, Priscilla and Chelsea said you can put them in before it boils, so there they are. They're in there. Oh, I need a tong. Where's my tong? My tong is hiding under my fabric. So we're gonna go ahead and Dump that in there. So, they said be careful not to rupture the tea bags. So, I kind of feel like I'm gonna need some more. What do you guys think? <sighs> a couple more? Okay, a couple more. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I added a few more, so now we've got nine of them in there. So, and I'm not sure if I want it as dark as theirs turned out, so that's why I'm questioning what to do there. So I've got that. I've got three cups of hot coffee here, but we're going to let this boil over here. And I've got my fabric. I have a bunch of pieces cut up, and I cut them up so that they're smaller so I can, like, you know, fold them and do them a little bit better. I've got, like, nine pieces of fabric. So this is about a yard or so of... 18 count Ada. I have my, I got two pans with parchment paper ready here. Yes, I think I have everything I need at this point in time. <gasps> Come on, tea bags, boil, 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 boil. I'll be back. Okay, it's not quite boiling yet, but we can see that it is getting darker. So I'm just kind of stirring the tea bags around here to we are, and I have not put the coffee in yet. Um, you know what? I did see them test out how to um, look at the color. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to make you sick. Number one. Do, do, do. While I go over here to get, I kind of want a glass mug, but I don't know if I have a clear glass mug. I don't have a clear glass mug. How 
hopefully you won't crack this. Um, I actually know what I'll do. I know what I have. I have a glass Pyrex little cup. Make all those noise and rackets getting the glass mug and I have that and then I have sorry there okay it's the first time I've ever done anything like this so you'll have to forgive me I'm a little, I don't know if I should watch my camera if I should watch the where my hands are for real all right so we're gonna put that right over to the side there because once it starts to boil we're gonna do a little scoop of the water. Or maybe I should do a scoop of the water first before it does boil. I don't know, there's so many decisions to make. Okay. All right, let's scoop the... Hmm. It looks a lot darker than what it, I think it's going to be. Oops, I spilled a little. The light yellowish kind of color okay there we'll let it boil um actually you know what i'm gonna dump the coffee in too so that's three cups of coffee that i brewed and i don't have an actual coffee pot so i just did three keurig cups of coffee so we'll see if that goes and i don't have instant coffee either um, I do have one instant coffee mix thing, but it has like powdered milk kind of stuff in it. So I didn't think that that would be good. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and let this continue go. You can see the smoke starting to go. So it is getting hot. So now we just have to wait for it to boil. So, all right, I'll be back. Okay, still not boiling. Watch pot never boils. Oh man. Okay, let's do our little test. It's darker. All right, gotta wait a little longer. It's a big pot to boil. Be back. Okay, I even walked away and it's still not completely boiling. I'm gonna give it a stir, but it's starting to make noises, so it, it should be it should be boiling here pretty soon. Just getting some getting some bubbles there. I'm just not getting that rolling boil that I think I'm supposed to have. I do see some bubbles. oh I see some bubbles coming. Do you see the bubbles? I think it's starting. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I removed the tea bags and I can see the bubbles happening now. So there's my tea bags over there. I took them out. I know that uh, Priscilla and Chelsea left theirs in, but I'm going to take mine out. So now I'm going to go ahead and yeah, it's starting to, definitely starting to boil now a little bit. So you can kind of see that bubbling up there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start adding the fabric. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one handed or not, but we're just going to start crumpling it up and shoving it in and we'll see what happens. And they had two yards of a Monaco in a pot that looks smaller than the one I'm using. So I was gonna do this outside originally with the big turkey roaster pot that we have um, and that, but I decided after watching the videos that I did not have to do that. So I figured I would just go ahead and do all this. Now I did cut my fabric down to 
um, the approximate size that I'm going to need for all of the um, frog warts ears. So I do have like, I think I've got eight pieces that are that size. Um, and I did do them a little bit. I gave them a little extra room. Um, after talking with Athena, she said something about when she does her dyeing that sometimes she gets a bunch of graveling happening. So I thought, okay, so I gave it a little extra. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited I'm finally doing this. And I have one other little piece that I'm going to try this on too. So um, we'll see how, if this all works or not. Oh my gosh, you can already see, you can already see it taking some color on. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. I'm so excited. Okay, so now I just need to, I need to turn down the heat because apparently we're not supposed to boil the fabric, but it needs to be in there and make sure that it's like we have enough water and I had definitely have enough water there to cover all the fabric. So we're going to bring it down to low to a simmer and now we're gonna let it sit here and simmer and they said a half hour but I'm going to go ahead and set my timer I'm gonna set my timer on my microwave here um, we are going to set that for um, oh my gosh it's already taking it's already taking color so granted it's only a little cream color right now but I'm going to set it for 15 minutes just to see the half the time because they did say that they like their fabric dark and um, so there we go 15 minutes we'll be back okay it's cooked for another 15 minutes so let's pull it out and see what we've got I have my parchment paper here with my my um whatchamacallit cookie sheet that's down there so we'll pull it out let it drain good We'll just do that with all the pieces and I'll be back. All right, I've got all of the pieces on the parchment. So now I'm going to flip them around and spread them out a little bit. And I'm gonna make sure that the edges are flipped under um, because they said something about if the edges are out, you don't wanna get crispy edges. So I'm going to go ahead and play with that and I'm going to put, I'll be back because it's going to take two hands. Be right back. All right. I've got it all spread out now and you can see that it's all around. The last part they said to do was to make sure to smush it down flat so that when you smush it down flat, it won't pop up and hit the sides or the top of the oven because you don't want it to touch the oven and burn. So um, they baked theirs for 30 minutes, they said. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to start baking it. Again, they like theirs a lot darker than what I'm going for, I think. So um, I'm going to go ahead and bake mine for 15 minutes to start out and then I'll check it after 15 and then we can go on from there. Oops, got an edge sticking up there. We don't want a crispy edge. So I think, I think we're good. All right, let's get baking. All right, the timer's gone off. Let's check and see what we got. We've got it bacon here. I don't really know if I'm going to be able to see it right away or if it has to completely dry. And I am still seeing like wet under there too. So you know what? Oh, I do see a little edge getting a little darker there. 
yeah we'll just continue on we'll bake it for the whole 30 minutes and see what we get all right back in it goes see you later alligator all right the timer went off again so now we're gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven here we go i know that um i believe priscilla and Chelsea, one of them said something about just sit, leaving it in the oven for a little while to dry. But I'm going to take it out like this so that I can kind of watch it. Oh, I'm glad I did because I didn't want it to continue to bake because I do have a little brown spot right here. So that's probably good that I'm doing that. So now I just basically let it dry. There's a little bit of dark there too. So, um... Yay, I'm excited. I think I'll just let it dry like this then, right? I think so. And then I can go iron it later afterwards. All right. We'll see what it's like when it's dry. It'll probably be a lot longer than 15 minutes this time, but we'll be back. Okay, so I decided to lay it out all flat. So I have it just kind of laid out on top of the stuff. So I'm just going to let it live there for a while until we need to use the stove, which hmm, depends on what's for dinner, but I'm guessing I'm not going to use the stove tonight. Thanks. We'll see you in a little bit and I'll show you after it's all dried and ironed. Okay, wasn't that awesome? And you can see, like you can see all the colors already coming through. Just wait till you see the color side by side. Okay, here's the white. And here's the pile. Look at how good I did. And look at the modeling in there. And you guys, because this is going to be my um, Harry Potter, my frog wart stuff. So I know there's seven years. So there's seven different, um, let's make sure I'm looking at it on the right side. Cause I have, some sides are bad and some sides are not so good, but you know, that's okay. It's the first time I did this and they'll probably be stitching to cover it. So I'm not really worried. Um, so there's seven years. So I have year one, year two, and year three. This is the third year that we're that's happening this summer. But I, in my haul, you'll see I just got year two. Um, oh, what did I do with that? I kitted it up and I put it somewhere. Where did I? Oh, no. Oh, oh there it is. I found it. Okay, it's in this bag. So, um, I have year one, year two, and year three. I went to Stitchville. <sighs> Talking of fabric, and now I was like, I got all of the floss that I need for um, year one, year two, and year three. All except for two colors, cherry cobbler and pumpkin pie. I ordered those from 123 Stitch this week, so I'm just waiting for those. And I think I, I think it said that the order shipped already. I don't know. We'll see. I can't remember, but there's no rush for it. So, but okay. I'm going to tell, I'm going to show you each piece separately. Cause you guys, not only did I like cut the fabric to the size it needs to be hand dyed the fabric, baked it, did all that stuff. I sewed zigzag edges around the outside so it doesn't fray. I'm like, I'm growing up, you guys. I'm not this, I'm not a little kid anymore. I'm turning into an adult. Okay, so here's one of my pieces of fabric. Look, and I'm gonna like, when I hold up one, I'm gonna hold another one behind it so that you guys can, it doesn't see through, but I think it turned out really, really good. And oh my gosh. Okay, so the coffee I used was honey, it was Starbucks honey and Madagascar vanilla flavor for coffee. And the tea was Earl Grey tea, black tea. Oh my gosh. It is, it smells like heaven. It really does. Okay. So here's the first piece. Oh, 
and you can see that I did get some little brown edges on there, but that's okay. So that's the first one. Um, and actually here's, here's, and you know, whenever, when I pick out the, which piece I'm going to do on which one, I'll pick out, you know, the best one, depending on where the modeling lies on each one of them. But I, I feel like I can use the front or the back and I don't know if there is a front or back or I don't know. But I did the serging based on what I would think I would use for the front. This one turned out so good. You know, the one thing I did find, oh, let me, I think there's like some there. That when, where I laid it on bars, I did find that there was some sort of like a, um, I don't know why it did that, but where I laid it across to dry and if I hung it over a bar, there was like a little line there, but that's okay. I can deal with that. I want to make sure I'm putting it this the right way. Okay. So I actually have, I think, eight or nine pieces. Oh my gosh. Isn't that just looking good? Oh, and... You know, I just looked at it and I just made sure I put it the right way and then I forgot which way I put it. Okay, right side up. If I say it, I'll remember it. Remind me, right side up, okay? Now this one, you can see that this one got a little bit crispier down towards the bottom. And I know that um, my piece that's, maybe I'll just put me behind it here. I think it turned out really good. I am so, so impressed with this. Janelle, you are amazing. Look at that. Now it's gonna be like a hard decision to figure out which one to do first. This one's really kind of neat. It has a lot of like that all over and then here's the the last one the last one is this last one is like the lightest one you can see where I put it over the bar on that one but that's okay or I had a fold edge I don't know that might have happened too and then I have one more here and um one more smaller piece so and I have a use for that one also. Pretty fun, huh? All right, so there's my, there's all my fabric dyed. So look, Candy, I did it. I was on a, a chat with her stitching and she said, girl, if you tell me one more week that you're gonna get that dyed. <laughs> Guess what, Candy? I got it dyed. I'm so proud of me. So I am actually gonna keep this in my Harry Pot, my Frogwarts kitted up bag, but I am going to keep it in the plastic. Um, I don't know if it's going to matter or not, but I am going to keep it in the plastic um, so I know what it is. And I'm so super. Look at the color difference on there. I did so good. I did so good. And I was afraid it was going to be too dark because they kept saying, well, it, I would do it for a half hour. We like our, dark, our fabric really dark, but I think it turned out perfect perfection so and now I have some white little Ada pieces to do something else with so we put that over there to put away so yes okay so we'll put that there okay next in line so remember I said I went to Stitchville um so yes I went to Stitchville oh I should have done that let's see Um, well, you know what? There's so many flosses in here that I'm not going to be able to do a little floss toss thing. Maybe what I'll do is, that's what I'll do. I'll put all of my colors right there and I'm laying it in front of me so that, and let me hold it. Let's see. There. 
that's kind of a little thing there, but it's all kitted up and I'm ready to go. So I have got year one of my year one frog warts pattern. And I just got this in the mail today. My year two. Yes, yes, yes. So now I can get those started. And my year three will be coming when they ship the boxes for frog warts. And that retreat is in July. So, so super excited. Yes, I am. So that's what that is. So that will be so much fun. I can't wait for that. Um, so also, speaking of Stitchville, I went to Stitchville with a list. No joke. Well, this is my list of things to do for the whole weekend. But all of these numbers here and all of that, those were all the things I had to buy. I stuck to my list at Stitchville. I, you know what? I did buy one other thing. I, I did not buy any other patterns. Oh, wait, I bought two other things. But I did not buy any patterns at Stitchville. I bought the, the floss that I needed for frog warts, the floss I needed for Gilmore Girls. So um, let's see, is this it? So this was like a, the bag of floss that I need for Summer in Stars Hollow for Gilmore Girls. Look at all those summery colors in there. Um, so just a refresher on what that is. That's coming up in June. Um, so this was Autumn and Stars Hollow. So we have summer on this side over here. So, and I am doing them all on this one piece. So that's coming up in June. So I had to kit that up for the, the new colors that we needed for the summer piece. So I got that done. So I did that. And then I also got, oh, the... Um, floss for the the one I can't show you or talk about because it's for somebody and they might watch and it's a smalls exchange thing so shh, don't tell okay then Stitchville the only other two things I bought I had a I saw these pins they're buzz with a b aren't they cute um from just another button company so I thought those were fun and you know, you walk by the fabric and you just got to do it sometimes. Well, I am starting to like 25 Count Lugana a lot better. So I got some vintage country mocha 25 Count Lugana. And you guys, look at this. Okay, so I think I'm doing pretty good. Look at my fabric versus that. I think I did pretty good. I'm comparing it to like professionally dyed fat, professionally dyed fabric. I'm learning so good, you guys. Okay, so there's that. And you guys know that I did my organized my drawer, so that's why I didn't buy more fabric because I was like, I got fabric. I don't need to buy a lot more. But this just I had to get this because this is a good neutral and you never know when you're gonna need it. So there. So that's what I did. So that was my stitch fill trip, which I thought was really, really, really good. Now I did go to, after Stitchville, I went off and visited my friend Lynn. And Lynn, I know from the yarn shop. And, sorry, one second. I'm hearing a bunch of wind outside also, and I know my bedroom window is open upstairs. I don't think it's raining, okay. I'm hearing some thunder and stuff like that, but it is super bright outside, so I don't think it's raining on my house. I think it's just thunder, maybe. So we're safe. Okay. Okay, back to where Lynn. Lynn from the yarn shop. She used to own a cross stitch store in Minnesota. And I think she called I think it was called Frames and Stitches or Stitches and Frames. I wonder if she's got any tags on any of these things. So Lynn does a walk for Alzheimer's. Yeah, it was called Frames and Stitches in Brooklyn Park. And she closed a few years ago, or, you know, a little while ago. And um, she does a walk for Alzheimer's each year. And so she has extra stuff. So just every so often she'll pull a bunch of stuff out and sell it to raise money for that walk. 
so I came went over to her house and I got some things. So check out the things I got. She knew that I like shepherd's bush stuff. So I love sheep. So of course, why wouldn't you like the shepherd's bush stuff, you know? So I got this cool little black frame. Oh, if anybody needs or is looking for a specific mat. So apparently there was a store. Oh, so Shepherd's Bush in Ogden. Um, I believe it's, you know what? I'm hearing raindrops. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back again. <laughs> yes, there are big raindrops falling and, but they were coming straight down or they were coming from a different direction. So the window that was open was fine. Now I'm all out of breath. Okay. Ogden, Utah, Shepherd's Bush. That's what I'm talking about. So, um, one of the things that she, she had a bunch of, so apparently there's a, a shop that was down the road. Sorry. I had to run upstairs. Not as, not as well. I'm more fit than I was in high school, but <laughs> not as fit as I should be, I guess. Anyway, um, okay, <laughs> now I'm like way off track. Okay, mental health may, right? Okay, so there is a shop right down the road from Shepherd's Bush. And they customize in mats and frames for a lot of the shepherd's bush patterns. So if you, there are any of those sam, they're usually like the long ones, the long, tall, skinnier ones is what I saw. Mm -hmm. But if you guys are looking for a specific one for that, let me know because she had some and they were, there were like two or three mats on a lot of those and they're custom cut mats and there's multiple mats and yeah so if you guys are looking for something like that reach out and we can check to see if she's got one of those um she probably she had a box of probably 15 or so of them so there you go all right but that's not what i bought i got this cool little black frame i thought that was neat and these are you know kind of garage sale prices so like, all right. And then I got this little thing here. It's a bag and there's a, look at this little strip across it where you can like, um, stitch a name on it. So I thought that that was pretty cool. So I got a pink one and a gray one, and these are the little sizes. And then I got a pink and a gray one for the big sizes. And these are Drawstern Briggs. This one's 10 by 12, and these are 15 by 18. So I'm excited for these. So yeah, so I can stitch right on those something customized. So I thought those were fun. Um, Little Monsters Trilogy from Mill Hill. I thought this guy was just adorable, so I had to get him. Um, and then I feel like I might have this one already, but um, I decided to get it anyways. This was from Little House Needleworks, and it was hot cocoa. If it's a duplicate, somebody else will get to share in it. Um, and then we have Country Cottage Needleworks, fa -la, la Look at those cute sheep with the Christmas tree. Oh, and this was... This is a bonus because there's two in here. There's that one. So Country Cottage Needleworks and Little House Needleworks. It's snow cold. Oh my goodness. That was a double whammy. I want to make sure that there's only two in there. Yep, there's only two in there. But still, that was a double whammy. That was a good, good special fun find. Okay, then we have Merry Christmas to You with Thy Needle and Thread by Brenda Gervais. Isn't that fun? I love it. 
And then here's another one, Farmhouse Christmas Little Red Barn by Little House Needleworks. It's a cute one too. And here's a shepherd's bush pattern. And this one I think it's called Tall Sheep. So there's that. And this has the real picture on it. So that's cool. Right, and then this one's Bent Creek, and this one's called Gobble. And this is so cute also. So there's the whole, whole thing. And then the up close. So that's what I got from her. So I didn't go too overboard. I did really good. Um, I, ha I got some fun finds, and yeah, so... That was my, that was my fun extra shopping trip. So, but don't worry, I have more haul. Um, I took care, I didn't go overboard at Stitchville and all that, but I have more fun stuff to show you. So in addition to the Frogwarts Year 2 from Black Needle Society today, I also got this sticker sheet. This was also in their vault. And this was called, it might still be in there, Stitching stick, sticker set. So there's some fun stickers. All right, then um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch. So I ordered Positivity Rules. I got that one, but I, I, didn't, I, I got more than that. Um, I decided to join, join up for the Touch of Magic Stitch Along. And somewhere in my brain, it's supposed to start, yeah, part one is supposed to start the 23rd of May, so next week. Um, so it's um, it's the Touch of Magic Stitch Along from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. So you can go out there and there's still time to sign up. I just ordered the whole kit, so I just have the front sheet printout here um, for just a little bit of the general information. I also decided to get, um, I ordered a stitch marker. I ordered, I got Deck the Halls pattern, Caterpillar Cross Stitch, Deck, Deck the Halls. No, the Touch of Magic Stitch Along. I don't have anything else to show you this because it's a mystery thing. So I don't have anything else to show you there. But the Deck the Halls, you know, that's one of the things she doesn't do. Or I just didn't print it out. I don't have a good cover page to show you the whole pattern, but this, I'll hold it back here. So there's that. And it says, hang stocking, dress tree, build snowman, um, mistletoe kiss, wrap presents, and bake gingerbread. So it's deck the halls. So it's a fun little thing. I like it. Um, there was another Christmas one that I got too. So, and that one I ordered the paper pattern of, they didn't, instead of doing the download on that one. So apparently the dog doesn't like the rain. Sorry. Um, so yeah, so I'm just waiting for those to come. Um, but wait, there's more. Okay. So to go along with the touch of magic stitch along from Caterpillar cross stitch, I noticed that some people were um, looking at cobweb fabric. Now, I'm not really sure what fabric is coming in my kit. I think it's just a gray Ada, but somebody posted that they had gotten this um, cobweb fabric. Let me see if I can find the name of it. It's from Fabric Flare. Yep, and it's just called Cobweb. 18 count Ada, and look at it. Isn't that cool? I'm excited. So I'm not sure if this is going to be perfect for it or not, but I do have it now in my possession. So if I want to do it, I can. And not only did I find this one, this is like a cream color with grayish, purpley gray kind of cobwebs. I also have one and this one is opalescent. This one's cobweb on parchment. 
No, you know what? It's not opalescent. It just has glitter on it somewhere, I think. Yeah, I think it just has glitter on it from touching other things. But here's cobweb on parchment. This is cool too. I love it. So I think this will make a fun piece later. So, so I have some fun cobwebs. And then, you know, of course, there's always the recommendations. When you purchase one thing, other things come up. So I got the 18 count autumn leaves from Fabric Flare also. Isn't that cool? I think that'll be an awesome thing for a fall stitching. And they're just very muted um, leaves in the background. So, and it's kind of on a pinky tan. So I think that's going to be really cool. So I did get some more fun fabric there. Then next in line and, oh, sorry. I, I was trying to be good about crinkles today, but there's going to be lots of crinkles for just a second. Pretend my dog is barking. Ruff, 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 ruff. Right, Jinxie Bell? All right, so I got my um, So Much to Love, Handmade with Love, So Much to Love bag of the month. And I haven't even, I opened it and I saw the bag, but that's as far, I saw this. This is all I saw. And I said, I have to wait. I have to be surprised when I open things because I kind of like that little adventure. Now that I'm doing the whole May Advent box, I like that adventure. Oh my God, I haven't done the Advent thing yet. We're going to have to stick that in here in a little bit. So I, after, I think I've got this and this, I'll stick this in after I go through that. Okay, so here is the bag. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So here's the back. And then the front. I do love this fabric. I have seen this fabric before and I think I might even own some of it. And the inside has all those little bees. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Okay, there's gonna be more crinkles because she always sends some more other fun stuff with it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, sorry. Okay, the crinkle's done now. We got some floss, some green and yellow floss. That is awesome. I love that. Lemon ginger caffeine-free stash tea. Yes. I need caffeine-free sometimes. Um, that's. I bet that's going to be really good. Can't wait to try that. Um, so, oh my goodness, look at that. I didn't even see that. Some bit of honeys. Guess what I'm eating tonight. Uh, oh my gosh, look at this cute little baby bee charm. Okay, hang on. I need to find something for a backdrop here. Look at that cute baby bee charm. That is so fun. So cute. Okay. And then... She always sends a little letter. Um, I didn't know she was in Idaho. She's in Idaho. Cool. Oh, no. She fell and broke her ankle on Mother's Day. That's not a good present. Oh, it took a lot of work, I bet, to get these out of out then. Oh, my goodness. That's too bad. That I feel so bad for her. So, but she says she's very thankful and she got a knee scooter and now she's got six to eight weeks about it, but she goes, so enough about me. Our package is full of goodness <laughs> and it, the fabric is so bright, so happy and bright. Bees just always make me smile unless they're chasing me. And that's a totally different thing. <laughs> I like that. I like, I like her. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, so, and Ooh, the, the chart is from Kathy of Hands on Design, Kathy Haberman, I believe it is, Hands on Design. Um, and she included two of the colors of DMC that you could use on it. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so check out this chart. It's called Clover and Hive. This is cute. Hands on Design. So 
I'm very, 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 very happy about this month's bag. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tula. Thank you, Karen. I love it. It's looking so good this month. I love it. I love it. Okay. What's next? Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Okay. This woman has reached a level of sewing in my world that is I call amazement. I had to send her like a little picture of somebody bowing down to her because she is a Mm, I can't call Stitching Goddess because that's what Athena's name is. But she is a Stitching Goddess as well. Heather. Punky Pearls. Oh my goodness. She makes bags and things that are absolutely amazing. Um, I didn't know about her until recently. And she makes these binders. So I actually, I said, what if I have some fabric? Can I send you the fabric? And she's like, absolutely. So I had this fabric... Because you know I have like a small quilt shop upstairs in my sewing room. So I sent her the fabric. And this is what she made me. So here is my binder. So, oh my goodness. So this is the outside of it. And here's her little tag, Punky's Place. Heather Punky Pearls. P-U-R-L-S. There's a zipper to keep everything intact. Okay, are you guys just excited for this is or what? Um, I don't know if you've ever seen any of these before, but okay, so what the here's a little caveat. So I saw it and I saw somebody she goes, Yep, and you can store your pattern your paper patterns inside here and zip it up and all that. But when I was thinking of that, I saw the open edges and I thought, well, can you put a pocket in there? So she experimented with mine and she put a pocket in there. So I have a pocket in mine. Now, I don't know if she'll ever do a pocket again because it didn't sound like it was a favorable thing to do in her world. Um, so there may be no other pockets on these, but mine has a pocket. Um, and so, because I was afraid of the pattern falling out, you know. So I do have a pocket there. And then there's... Just this down just a little bit so I don't have to hold it up so far. Okay, so there's that. And then there's these flips, and each one of these flips is a zipper. And here's vinyl in here. So there's one, two, and I love how she like changed the colors of the zippers. Three. Four, and then we're back to another side with a pocket. Isn't this just amazing? Oh my gosh, I love this thing. It, so it's like a project binder, and you can have like all these things in here. And I love it. It is, it turned out so cute. So stinking adorable. And the amount of fabric she sent back to me was a ton. I really didn't think it was going to be that much. Um, so yeah, this was complete amazement and I love that it closes. So thank you, Heather, for experimenting with my pockets and I appreciate you so much. I appreciate everybody. All these things are just so great. All these talented people that we know and can do all these magical things. Oh, it's amazing. So I love my binder. So Heather, Punky Pearls. Um, yeah, so super excited. Okay, Af I said after I did that, I was going to go ahead and pop in and talk about my May Advent box. So Athena, Stitching Goddess Designs, and I, or Athena X Stitches, I think she's got a couple different names, different places. Um, but I'm not sure if she went and swapped it all to one or not, but... Stitching Goddess Design, she makes t-shirts and um, cross stitches and where she uh, does customer service for Black Needle Society and So Much to Love and all that kind of stuff and everything too. So she and I swapped a, an advent box. So this here is still the stuff I have to open. Look at all that bright, colorful stuff. And 
this is all the stuff that I've opened so far. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing, you guys. So I I can't remember if I went up through the 10th, 11th, or 12th last week, because I can't remember which day I posted. But um, so here is going to be a day-by-day -day unboxing of the May Advent Box. Take it away, Janelle. Hello, Floss Tube. Today is May, Wednesday, May 11th. Hey, there you go. Wednesday, May 11th. You know, I guess one thing I could do is I could just look at like look at what's next in line in my box here because I do have them all sorted by date and stuff. Yes, yes. Excuse me. Oh, oh my. Okay. We're, oh, there's another one coming. Okay, there we go. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. Coffee, wine, and stitching time. Today is May Advent. May 11th Advent box opening. Day 11. And here it is. Day 11. So, okay. I need to explain this because I think I I might have steered you guys wrong. That Oh, holy moly. Did, yeah, don't do that. Whoa. Oh, look at the baby. She brought the baby. She even brought me the baby. She's like, here, give me the baby. You have to come say hi first. <laughs> oh, that's saying hi. Okay, sorry. Whew. But now I got my ears sticking out. I'm a hot mess today. Well, it's the end of the day today. It is. It's the end of the day. I'm done work. My hubby's home. I've already did a little bit of dishes. I've already cleaned up the house a little bit. Oh my goodness, I did a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, you know what I did today? I went and played in the rain. We had hail today and we saw the hail coming down. We're like, that's big. And my husband's like, he was gonna run and get it and he had the socks on his feet and I was barefoot and I'm like, here, I'll go get it. So my shirt, so this was like, um, an hour, hour and a half ago. My shirt is still really, really wet, but oh well. I got some cool hail. We got pictures of it. I'll, I'll throw a picture of it in here. So yeah. So not only do I get day 11 for the May Evan box, but I got two inch size hail today too. Yay. Okay. So, <laughs> so that was quite exciting. Okay. Anyways, we're just going to continue on with the May Advent box because who knows what I have in my updates in other days, but oh, okay. I have to open the present. I have to not just talk. I have to open the present too. Open the present and talk, Janelle. Open the present and talk. Let's see what today. Oh, I was explaining what was oh my goodness, tangents. Woo! Okay, squirrel. So, dog tail. <laughs> okay, tangent. Back to the back to what I was originally doing. I might have sent you astray yesterday because the clue I had for yesterday was part one of three. Well, I was assuming that we would get part one, two, and three in a row. Well, today I got a message saying something and Athena was wondering what I, she goes, Advent today with a question mark. And she's like, I'll have written down his pattern. And I'm like, I haven't opened it yet. I said, all I know is it's part two of three. And she's like, no. <laughs> She said she split them out and spread them out. So I got part one of three, but I don't know when I'm going to get a part two or three of three. <laughs> so apparently this is not related to part one of yesterday. How's that? Okay. So this is a brand new day, day 11, but I don't know what the clue is. There is no clue because she didn't know what it was either. So she forgot. <laughs> so I have to open it so I can tell her what it is. gosh, this is so cute. Oh, and there's more, but look, there's more. Look, this is Waxing Moon Designs Spring Littles. And there's six designs in here. Oh, they're so cute. Look at this. Okay. So there's, I think it's a bunny farmer growing carrots and we have a, a little bird in the nest. We have 
a cute like fox and oh no it's a bunny again with flowers and there's something in the in the bunny's hand um there's a rain cloud with flowers there's a bunny with a carrot riding a sheep that's gonna be the first one i do and then we have a chicken and wait is the chicken sitting on something there's a chicken on top of a chicken like maybe mama chicken, baby chick. Okay, I feel like I have to pull this all the way out. Oh, here, let me show you. Spring Littles. <laughs> Waxy Moon Designs, number 211. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And I got blue flash with it. Okay, I have to pull this out. I gotta pull it out. I'm gonna check it out. Here we go. The blue floss. Ooh, it's called Tutti Fruity. That's a pretty blue how bright blue that is okay and then and then but oh wait we gotta pull this out and see if there's more pictures more pictures okay there's not more pictures there's patterns but we can see from the pattern a little bit more oh okay let me explain this to you okay so this one right here and maybe you guys already know this, but this is a white egg underneath and there's a chicken and a baby chick. That is super cute. So that white part underneath is an egg. So the chicken's laying on an egg and then there's a baby chick sitting on top. And then we have the sheep with a bunny rabbit holding its carrot. And then we have the rain cloud rainy with a smile raining on all the flowers, making all the flowers grow. Now we have a bunny rabbit farmer guy. He's, he's got his hoe in his hand and he's got his carrots growing. So cute. And then we have the bluebird. I'm going to call it a bluebird in the nest. It looks like it has feet though. So maybe it's just a whole bluebird. It looks like it has feet here too. I think it's just a whole blue, well, I don't, I don't know. Can you tell? I think it's a bluebird in a nest and that's just stuff. Below. Oh, it's a tree branch. There's the tree branch and then there's the leaves. Okay, then we have the, this one left here. And this one is a bunny holding a bat, it's a basket. So it looks like a basket maybe with flowers. Um, and then more holding more flowers and then oh, there's butterflies these are butterflies and a little bow in the hair <gasps> this is so cute thank you Athena I love it I totally totally love it you you know the, okay the first one okay the first one I'm gonna do is that bunny ride in the sheep and then it's a toss-up between well, I don't know. I think this one's super cute. I think this one's super cute. I think this one's super... I like them all. I like them all. I don't know. But the bunny riding the sheep is the first one. Yay! Okay, we'll see you on day 12. Have a good day. Good morning. It is so bright and early today. Look, my eyes aren't even open all the way. And you know why we're here. The only reason we're here this early in the morning is to have to do the May Advent Box. So just a reminder, May Advent Box is the box that Athena and I swapped. All these bright and fun colors, springy colors. Um, oh, sure. Okay, so... I sat down in my chair, my actual office chair, because I'm like, I, it's too early. I can't get on the floor, floor this morning. And I sat there, I set up my camera, and the dog's looking at me like, why are you up there? So I came down to the floor, and now she's over there. You know, she is so, a, she's, she's so cute. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters is the cuteness. Okay, so before I open the advent box, I have a little bit of funness to share with you this morning. Number one, my coffee. 
oh my gosh, it smells so good. Today I made a, a new concoction. I haven't tried this combination yet. I have a Starbucks honey and vanilla, Madagascar vanilla coffee with Cinnabon creamer and I threw some nutmeg and cinnamon in it. Now I know I throw all those things in the other things too, but I've never done it with this flavor of coffee. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, nummy. Okay. Today, if you, if I didn't tell you, I, I know I didn't tell you this because I don't even know what it is. And if I would have said it, I would have remembered it. Today is Thursday, May 12th. <laughs> so welcome to Thursday, May 12th. And oh my gosh, it's going to be such a fun day. And oh, the other tidbit of information I have to share with you. I got a text from Athena this morning with a clue. Oh my gosh, she is up. She was up before I was up. And I was like, what? That is, you know, yay, Athena. So she's like got a whole day of goodness coming her way. I bet she's asleep by eight tonight. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. I didn't even brush my hair. Can you tell? Yeah, I can. I can tell. I bet you can. Oh, yeah. It's quite interesting today. Okay. Day 12. Day 12. Okay. It's... So the clue I got was, now I can start to get to doing some FFOing. So that is, I had that clue before and I got some chenille stuff. So get your nose out of my coffee. You want to come say hi real quick? You just want to come see what the present is, huh? This is why she, this is why she loves me. Because of the presents. Is this for you? Do you think this is for you? It's probably not for you. Here, you want to say hi? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. You guys have got kisses. Good morning. How are you this morning? How are you this happy Thursday morning? She's like, I don't care. Just open that present. Should we see what's in it? Okay, let's see what's in it. Oh, that's cool. It's a hoop. And it's a... Oh, that's neat. I've never seen one like this. So it's a hoop for finishing and it's kind of a rubbery thing around it. And you just pull it out like that. Oh, this is neat. I love it. And it has like a wood grain. Get, get your baby out of my coffee. I guess everybody likes my coffee this morning. Oh, that's cool. I love it. Look, it's the size. It's the size of my face. Yes. Thank you, Dina. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably have to know where you got this one because I kind of feel like I want to see if they have others too. I like this. Thank you. All right. Have a wonderful Thursday, everybody, and we'll see you Friday. Bye. Good morning, everybody. You know, it's, it's early morning again. And instead of like trying to like comb the hair and make it look pretty, we just got a hat today. What the heck? Why not? We're getting all these weird storms and you know, the air is on in my house. <laughs> so it's time to bring the winter hats back out. All right. You know why we're here. May Advent Box. Today is day... 13. Today is May 13th. It is, wait a second. Is it Friday? It's Friday. Is today Friday the 13th? I have to go look at my calendar. Hang on. Oh my gosh. It's Friday the 13th. <gasps> I totally spaced on that. Well, there you go. All right. Well, anyways, happy Friday the 13th, day 13, day 13, all right, in my Jinxie Bell's right here playing with her toy, so let's say hi Jinxie Bell, oh, she's like, you just took me away from my toy, <gasps> I'm 
Coco say hi this morning? She hi this morning. Okay. Be be gone with you. Be gone with you then. She obviously doesn't love me this morning. Okay, so let's see how many times we can take to do one video for one day. I didn't know snooze alarms cut off videos. <laughs> That's how we know it's early in the morning. I have my snooze alarm set so I can make sure I get out of bed. And then there's snooze alarms to make sure I get to work. Because <laughs> it's such a long commute. Okay, day 13. Day 13. Here we are. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, scissors. Look at these guys. They look like eyeglasses. Mm. I love them. I look smart kind of with the, my eyeglasses. Ooh, and I kind of look freaky with my eyeballs looking through them too. I love them. Oh, I really do love them. Those are neat. They're not like those other ones that like kill you to put them back together. Oh, these are so cool. And I can put strings on them and wear them like I got like a necklace. I might do that. Ah, okay, love them. Thank you, Athena. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you tomorrow, day 14. Hi, Flosstube. It is Saturday, May 14th, and we're here for our Advent, May Advent opening. I totally spaced this morning on doing it. I was like on a mission today, got to get to the post office and mail things, got to get to Stitchville and pick up some things, got to get over here, got to get there. Oh, yeah, so now I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I forgot to do my Advent this morning. So... We're here to do the advent. So day 14, are you ready? Here it is, day 14, it's soft and squishy. Feels kinda like something I got once before. I just don't know the color, maybe? So let's see, open the envelope. All right, let's see. Oh yes, spring grass pretty green. It is. It's like the other ones I got. Look, look, look at these fun colors. This is total fun spring. Where's the other one? I know I got another one here. Purple. Here it is. Purple. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Those are so fun. I'm loving them. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Day 15. Sunday. Day 15 tomorrow. Oh, it's it's a big one. And it's soft and squishy, you guys. All right, see you tomorrow. Good morning, Flash Tube. It is Sunday, May. Hang on. 15th, day 15th. It is Sunday, May 15th, and we have Jinxie here. She came over to say hi, and as she stood right in front of me, she stared intently at her baby, so I think she wanted me to introduce you to Jinji. This is Jinji, and this is Jinxie, and they are a perfect couple. This is one of her babies that she loves and loves and loves. So if you hear that excessive licking in the back, it's because Jinji is really soaked in certain spots at certain times of the day. So, say hi to Jinji, say hi to Jinxie, and are you ready? You want to go play? Did we have enough time? Did you have enough camera time? Okay. So now we can get on with the May Advent box. Yes, 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 we can. All right. So here we have day 15. It's soft and it's squishy. And I said to Athena, we were on a chat last night and she said, I said um, something about Oh yeah, today's big and it's soft and squishy. And she goes, oh yeah, today's a good day. So I'm so super excited. I'm just super excited. Anyways, so we were on a chat until I went to bed at 2. 1.30? 2, something like that. And, oh my goodness. I, I almost op did an opening at midnight, but I'm like, no, no, no. So I waited till this morning. But did you know what? My dog woke me up at 
6 a.m. Really? If I go to bed at 2, wake me up at 6, that is not okay. So, i got a couple more hours. Hence the hot mess look today. Okay. Oh, it's double paper. Haha. <laughs> Maybe it's just all paper. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. This is freaking amazing. And a t-shirt. Knit happens. <gasps> I love this. And this is something I've been looking at wanting. I've been wanting a knitting t-shirt. Oh my goodness. I love it, Athena. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Hmm. I think I know what I'm wearing today. Oh, I absolutely love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, now I just need to go get showered and put it on. But I have dirty things I have to do first. I have some little bit of cleaning and clean and doing around things the first. So, but all right, we'll see you tomorrow, Monday. Bye. Morning, Blast Tube. So today is May 16th. Here it is, May 16th. And I'm not sitting on the floor today because I don't feel like sitting on the floor and trying to get back up off the floor because it's really, really early and my back hurts a little bit and, you know, I haven't really been up long, hence the hat day. Hat day. Good morning, sunshines. Good morning. <laughs> um, I was so tired last night I even missed the cool lunar blood eclipse thing. But you're opening day 16. It's a... It's, a box. It's like solid. It's hard. I don't know if it's, I don't know. It's like, oh, cute. It's a little sign. Enjoy the little things. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This, my friend, is going to go right on my desk, right here, so I can look at it all day long. Thank you so much. I love it. Hi everyone! Today is Tuesday, May 17th, and oh, Jinx sat down right in front of me. She's like, I'm ready. She said, Hello, you gotta look at the camera right here. No, you gotta look at the people. There. Hi! There she is. She says hi. Today is Tuesday, May 17th. Okay, let's see if she sits down. And, I don't know if that was enough for her or not. What are you doing? You want more? You want me to pick you up again? Yeah, more? Okay, you can sit here with me. All right, well, we're here for the May Advent. Hang on. Sorry, Jinxie. It, it, I, I, sometimes I need to have two hands. She's like, I know we're here for presents. Where are the presents? Bring on the presents. So here are the presents. Here's my bag of things that I've already unwrapped. And here we have day 17. Does it smell good? Huh? No? It's not your taste? Not your... I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. All right. We Are we officially halfway through? There's 31 days in May. So is that day seven? We are officially over halfway. Are you going to get down? Okay. She's over it. She wants to know what the present is, though. So do I, so do I. So I'll just open it. Okay, day 17, Advent Box May event um, with Athena and Stitching Goddess Designs and myself. We did a box for each other. So if you're just joining us for the first time, this is what it is. You've already seen a few of them, and, you know, there you go. All right. I like when I open things. I like to, like, have the first glance at the same time. So I'm opening it, opening it without looking at it. Okay, and I think there was a, I know there was a clue. I'm sorry, I'm bugging with my eye today because I've been working and I've been like, during meetings, you know how you just kind of do this and do that as you listen. And I've been dusting my desk off and I think I have, I think I touched my eye after I dusted my desk with my finger, you know, 
and I think I got dust in my eye. So I'm sorry. Sorry if I'm bugging with, bugging with my eye. Um, but yeah. So, okay, back to this. I like opening the presents and stuff like that. So I'm opening it blindly. I don't know what it is yet. I did get a clue and I believe day 17 was something to help with FFOing again. So, what is it? Oh, maybe it's more to do with this planner. Stickers, stickers is what this, that, what it says. So there's, it says make it happen. And it says it's stickers on the back here. Um, okay, so yep, yeah, it's more for the planning and the journal and stuff like that. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, there's, but it's like tape, so I can't see all of them, but oh my goodness, look, you guys, look at there. There's butterfly, there's different things. Oh, there's a Eiffel Tower. Just be cool. Enjoy the little things. Choose to be happy. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love this. I love these stickers. Oh, little tiny baby hearts. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have fun with these too. Thank you, Athena. And it goes with my little sign that I got. Where did I put my sign? There it is. Enjoy the little things. This is sitting on my desk with me. So, yeah, this is what I got yesterday. Enjoy the little things. So, thank you, Athena. All right, see you tomorrow. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's Wednesday, May 18th. Today is Zan's birthday. I just got done watching her floss tube, so you guys need to go check that out. Um, I am here. This is my little May vent segment. Fun little stuff here from Athena, the May advent box that we are, um, we swapped with each other. And today is May 18th. So I need to find day 18. Here we are. Oh, it's a little baby one. Oh, oh it feels good. It feels like I'm going to like it. Okay. I didn't get a clue today, but that's okay. Because I like it. I kind of like it without the clues too. I'm liking the whole surprise factor. Um, I was going to do my floss tube yesterday and I decided to stitch instead. So that's the way it goes. So now today I have a great big mess here and so today I will be doing my floss tube and you probably already know that because this is in the middle of it and yeah, there we are. So, but I have other things. I just don't found out I had mail delivered and so I have a couple more deliveries out there and just you wait and see if you haven't seen them already. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't because I don't know where this is going to go in my floss tube yet and I don't know like what's, I don't know. So, I hope you're surprised wherever you see it. Okay. I'm trying to be careful so I don't, like, break something. But, you know me, I don't want to look. I, okay, I think I'm almost to it. Yes! It's floss, and it's yellow! It's called Lemon Drops. Ooh, and I know exactly where I'm going to use this. I'm doing the positivity rules and I'm going to put a sunshine in there. This yellow is my lemon drops for positivity rules. Yes. Thank you, Athena. All right. We'll see you tomorrow for more Advent boxing. Wasn't that just amazing? Oh my gosh. I'm having so much fun with this box. So I do have a couple things I have to show you. Now, one of the items is this little sign. Enjoy the little things. I absolutely love this. And this sits on my desks and reminds me to enjoy the little things each and every day. So I absolutely love this. Thank you so much. And I have to show you this also. My new t-shirt called, and it's Knit Happens. So she made this. Oh my gosh, she did so good. So knit happens and I am just loving this. And this t-shirt feels so soft. I just, I can't wait to wear it, but I couldn't, I knew I couldn't wear it until after I showed it to you guys. So I love this t-shirt. So yeah, Stitching Goddess Designs. 
She makes t-shirts, she does custom designs, and she'll help design logos and different things for a ton of people. So thank you, Athena. I am loving, loving, loving this May Advent box. It is absolutely so fun to do this every day. I love it. All right, so we are going to, and thank you for all the great things. Okay, so next, let's see what else we've got. Um, let's see. Oh, I got to look at this list real quick too. Oh, okay. We're on to yarn, yarn stuff. So I don't have a whole lot of progress to show you, but I have worked on a couple things and I have one to do item. Um, so my progress so far, so I'm doing this hat. I'm doing this hat called Drizzle on the Window. And just to refresh your memories of what that is, you find the, it is this hat here. It's Drizzle on the Window by Susan Rainey, um, designed by Susan Rainey of the Rainey Sisters. And this is available on Ravelry. And it has all of those beads. Isn't that just absolutely amazing? I love it. And I am doing my hat out of, it is a Malabrigo, or is it Malabrigo or is it? Yeah, Malabrigo sock yarn. And the color name is P-O-C-I-O-N, which means poison in Spanish. So it has all these different colors there. And I'm working on my brim. Now I have to, today is Wednesday. Oh my gosh, today is Wednesday. I'm going back. I have to have like another inch and a half or so done for tomorrow. But look at those colors as they're showing up. Aren't they gorgeous? I feel like I need to put something behind it so you can get the full effect of those colors. Mm, I'm not getting the full effect. But you, trust me, there's blues and browns and golds and all kinds of different colors in there. So trust me, it's wonderful. And the other thing that I'm working on, and we cast it on last week, last Thursday, was, um, it's called the Classic Tea. Where's my first page? There it is. So this is what it looks like. It's called the classic tea. And there it is. I have things written on there. People's names I don't want everybody to see. And it's um by Darlene Jador is the designer. I believe. So Darlene Jador, the classic T. Oops, there. So, and this is a knit along that we're doing at the shop at Be Woolen. And I am doing, I wanna make sure I get that back in the right order so I don't lose my place. I'm using Cascade Hampton it's a 70% Pima cotton and then 30% linen. And the color I'm using is called Chrysan Chrysanthemum. And look at this color. And I've got just about half of my collar done. So I still have a little bit more. I think I probably have about three or four more stitches for the collar before I start doing the raglan and separating and increases. So. Isn't that super fun? I am loving that too. So I love it. So that is my yarn fun that I've been doing this last week. Um, and that'll continue through May, those two projects. Now I have one other secret stitching that I'm going to do. Um, I can't tell you or show you what it's going to be but I can show you the yarn that I'm using. It's this wonderful blue, and you're not even getting the full effect of that blue. I wonder if I, there, that does good. 
it's this, it's, it's not a bright blue, but there's variations of it. And it's like this kind of tealish color, deep teal with variations of it. And, um, so it is, this is actually Cascade Superwash Wave. And this color is called Deep Sea. So it's amazing. So I'm going to do something with that. And you'll probably see what that is next week, but I can't tell you what it is now because it's secret. But you just wait and see. Okay, then let's see. What else do I have? Is that everything? I think that's everything, except for my Black Needle Society box for the unicorns and dragons and mermaids, oh my. Um, and I'm gonna have a separate video for that. So it looks like I can wrap this up. I'm not sure how long this one is because I've done so many segments in here, but um, oh my gosh, we did a lot. I did a lot this last week. I dyed fabric, I went shopping, <laughs> I worked on how many different projects? Oh my goodness, I worked on two different knitting projects and one, two, three different cross-stitch projects throughout the week. Um, and I've just had so much, so much fun, fun goodness lately. Um, so yeah, so super excited and I kitted up things and I have th more plans. I'm feeling a lot more organized lately as well. Do I, do I seem more organized on this video? I might, maybe. I don't know with all the interruptions and things like that, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm a little bit more organized in everything that's happening. So, all right. So my plans for this next week are to work on Paris and some Mill Hill stuff. The bees tonight for Zan's bee day sale. Um, Halloween and maybe more positivity rules. I don't know that one. But for sure, um, so remember hashtags, my positivity rules is for the, um, item that Candy's promoting hashtag mental, mental health care sale. Um, and that's for mental health awareness in the month of May. Then we have Zan's B day sale. Um, and that's X A N S B E E D A Y S A L. And I believe she's doing it all through the whole month of May. So, um, yeah, so I think that. And then um, the other one I want to remind you of that I haven't done yet, a uh, um, patriotic frenzy May, I think is what it is. The hashtag will be right in here and that's Stacy Stitches. So instead of mania, she does patriotic um, stitching in the month of May. And I'm going to participate in that in Memorial Day weekend when I start my One Nation. So I'm excited for that. So yeah, so I've got my Halloween. This is Halloween to finish up on that part. My positivity rules. I want to try to get the roof and the moon and the moon and the stars and the chimney and the sun and the clouds. That's going to be my goal for May to get those done. Um, Paris, I want to finish that other third section. Mill Hills, I want to complete one of them for sure, possibly two if I can. And then my B-Day sale, I want to make sure I get all the outside edges done for sure. So, um, yeah, there we go. I think that's good. And if I can do that all this week, that's going to be extremely amazing. So we will see how that goes. Other plans that I have going on this week, let's see, um, we have a lock-in, well actually tomorrow, Thursday, um, I'm going to the yarn shop to for my drizzle class and my knit along for the tea, and then we have a lock-in on Saturday that I'll be participating in. Um, next week, Janet, Janet Jabber, her birthday is Monday the 23rd, so make sure you shout out Janet Jabber and wish her a happy birthday because she is such, she's such a sweet lady. I just love her. Um, so make sure you give her all the love you can on her birthday. And yeah, and I should be back next Tuesday. Now I know I like to do Tuesdays, but somehow Tuesdays aren't always working for me and I kind of push it in Wednesday. 
and then it usually doesn't get posted till Thursday. <laughs> I'm really going to try to do that a little bit better, but at least I'm trying to do it every week. So I got that going for me. That's getting a little bit better. So there we are. There's my plans. There's everything. Jinxie, do you want to say goodbye? You want to say goodbye or hello to everybody? She's been walking around a little bit, but she's been sleeping almost this whole time, except for when she was barking at the rain, obviously, because that was loud for her, I bet. So there we are. So you want to say goodbye? Say hello, people. Thank you for keeping my mommy all happy. Yes, there's my mommy all happy. Yeah, so. All right, are we good? Yeah, I don't need to kiss us. We don't need to kiss us. All right. I kiss you though. I give you a kiss. Yes. I don't know. I think she likes it. She likes it. Okay. All right, everyone. You have a wonderful rest of your night and a wonderful week. And I hope you have just do what you want. Do what you love. Be happy and smile, sparkle, shine. See you next week.